啊，大家好，啊，我中文名字叫白景，但是我四岁去的美国，所以我的中文说的不太好。So， 我跟这几位人不是，啊，呃，不行不行。啊、uh, ，So where do we stand right now? Well, Bitcoin is about 185 billion dollars in total circulation, making it the sixth largest cryptocurrency in the world. And Ether is now the 17th largest currency in the world, after the Hong Kong dollar and the uh, Turkish lira. So, just to give you a sense of scale here, cryptocurrency markets is about 300 billion in total market cap. The fiat currency market has about six trillion in, mar in uh, outstanding currency. Global capital markets, stocks and bonds, is about a two hundred trillion dollar market. And the global derivatives market is over a thousand trillion. So just to put that in scale, we're down here. And historically, people use their fiat to buy different assets, stocks, bonds, and other derivatives. Um, and lately. They've gone into the cryptocurrency markets. And what we want to do at Ever Markets is to cut up fiat and allow you to trade directly into the stock bond markets with your cryptocurrency using futures and derivatives. And that's the mission statement of Ever Markets. So for the first time, we can clear, trade, and settle derivatives without a centralized clearinghouse. We want to democratize access to the global markets, so we will allow anyone in the world with crypto to hedge their risks. So like a small farmer in India could buy a corn future and hedge his risk. Or a trader in, a student in Korea could buy the next Apple or Facebook. We'll provide institutional level liquidity. Without this liquidity, no one will trade on your markets. So that's a specialty we'll, we'll, we'll bring with our experience. And uh, this should bring cost of trading lower and bootstrap the liquidity cycle. And we want to spur innovation in the financial contract creation space. This just means that anyone in the world can launch their own future. So we've been speaking to a number of people and they wanted some Ethereum gas futures, for example, or fall, uh, a mall foot traffic future. So anyone can launch their own contracts with our platform. And so here's the founding team. We all went to Carnegie Mellon. We've all known each other for 15 years. Uh, Craig and I studied computer science. I went to Citigroup as a trader for six years and a portfolio manager at Graham Capital. I managed a billion dollar futures and option book. Uh, Craig went to Microsoft after Carnegie Mellon. He worked there five years, then uh, seven years at AQR. It's now a $200 billion hedge fund. And Mark, uh, he went to Citadel, Knight, and various high-frequency trading firms in Chicago. We have other developers who've known each other for 10 years at Microsoft and Amazon. Uh, Evan was an uh, architect, led a team of 130 engineers. Eric bought Bitcoin at 25 cents, 10, uh, 2010. So he's working because he believes in the idea. He doesn't need money. He, he just wants to change the world. And finally, we have Jack. Jack is our APA specialist. He's worked at Deutsche, City, and BNP, and will be based in Shanghai. So to give you a background on derivatives and futures, uh, derivative is just a contract uh, that's based on the price of an underlying asset. Um, so oil, or stock, or even Bitcoin could, you could represent with uh, derivatives. Um, and, and the normal derivatives that people are used to are futures or options or swaps. Um, so, uh, futures are just a transaction today for an exchange of goods or, or money in the future uh, at a specified uh, price and date. And uh, but don't get this wrong, prices move intraday. You can in, get in and out of positions. It's a very liquid market. Um, they, they trade on regulated exchanges. There's probably only less than 10 in the world with most of the liquidity. Uh, they're intermediated by clearinghouses. So traders face a clearinghouse when they enter this trade. And uh, you enter these markets through brokers. And brokers collect your collateral and deposit uh, and route your orders. And finally, the, 
uh, Ethereum's have built-in leverage. So normally you, you can put you know five thousand dollars down to trade a hundred five thousand dollar S and P futures contract, for example. So here's a uh, background of exchanges. It's a billion dollar, twenty billion dollar business every year. The majority of the sixteen billion dollar futures contracts trade on less than ten exchanges in the world. They're virtual monopolies. Uh, that's how they have massive uh, profit margins. Um, and the volume that, uh, on these exchanges are uncorrelated to market return. Um, so they've gone from you know, increasing volume every year despite low volatility. And uh, there's rising interest in, in China and India especially. So the status quo, it could be very expensive and difficult to access some of these exchanges. Uh, everyone, you know, people pay different prices. So you and I will pay about three forty a contract to trade on the CME. Well, an HFT fund will trade less than 15 cents. It's very unfair. Uh, global access can be very difficult. So what this means is uh, you need to place collateral on, on various different exchanges. Um, each contract trades only on one, one exchange. Um, sometimes you can't even access uh, these markets. Uh, China, for example, banned a lot of uh, non-residents from trading on their exchanges. Uh, one final thing to note is, uh, yeah, all these exchanges are centralized, which means uh, there's massive advantages for a lot of high-frequency traders. We have co-located servers and, and HFT algos, um, and they're, they're competing on speed and not, not really the price. And we'll change that on our platform. So this, just an overview of why we're, we're building ever markets. We want to uh, create a new platform and, and really democratize access and allow anyone to trade any, any market in the world. So uh, how do we do this? Uh, well, a cash settled future is equivalent to a token settled future, which can be represented by a smart contract and an oracle. Um, and in order to trade derivatives, because you're trading uh, with leverage, uh, you need a clearinghouse in the traditional uh, sense. So a clearinghouse is, uh, is an entity that the traders face on each trade. They, they guarantee each trade, they back each contract, uh, and, and trust is based on the reputation of the clearinghouse and the billions of dollars that are going behind each clearinghouse. And decentralized clearing is what we're providing on Ever Markets. So traders post collateral directly onto smart contracts. The blockchain guarantees the trades, and trust is based on transparency and security of the network. So, yeah, our mission statement is to trade any futures contract from around the world on one platform at a fraction of the base cost with minimal market impact. So what we provide on other markets is a fair market for uh, everyone in the world, vastly lower fees. We'll open this up to anyone with crypto. Uh, it's secured by Ethereum. Uh, we'll allow contracts that are traded in the world, in the real world uh, with less volatility and the ability to trade fractional contracts. This means you, can, you don't need a account minimum to start trading. So there are three main roles on our uh, platform that are trader. They deposit collateral directly on the smart contracts. There's a lender who lends and, and deposits their, their crypto onto smart contracts to provide leverage to the traders. Um, and they earn a fee for providing leverage to the traders. And finally, there's a contract creator. And th they're the one who define parameters of a contract. And then they, they, they charge a, a fee for setting those parameters, identifying the oracle, and um, providing liquidity and source of liquidity. And so this is our token. It's used by the traders to post as collateral. It's used as for margin syndicates to lend out um, in a decentralized way. So no one's holding on to anyone's uh, private keys or, or, or tokens. And then there are the matching engines, and people can deposit their tokens and, and vote on the, I guess, contract that they feel is the most strong, solid, and secure. 
So a lot of people ask why are we token? Well, we want the liquidity to, to start from day one. And we need tokens to use on the Evermarkets platform as the market maker. We also need collateral to, to post to the CME, ICE, Eurex, NASDAQ, all the different exchanges in the world. And we'll be building that way. And and they don't honor our offsetting trade on Evermarkets, so we need we need collateral. Uh, just to go over the market, the crossing out of it. So instead of a real-time limit order book, we are offering uh, periodic call auctions. So this means every minute or five minutes we'll have auctions that are across uh, the, the buyers and sellers. And there are many benefits to these periodic call auctions. Uh, it eliminates a speed advantage, for example. Now people are competing on price instead of speed. Um, and it, it's the perfect uh, application for blockchain. We don't we don't need to worry about the transaction through one. It's just one call that'll cross thousands of traders. It's easier to implement. Uh, we don't have to worry about queuing and, and, and timing of different orders. It's better for regulators. There's less data to, to, to uh, sort through. People can identify in real time the amount of collateral that's, that's back in each contract. Uh, it's easier to disseminate data. And there's more stability with auctions, and it's been proven by many academic papers. You, you allow more time for the market to pull orders, and you limit the susceptibility of flash crashes. So how do we build liquidity? Um, so that's one of the key differentiators for other markets. We've had a decade of experience making markets on the various exchanges around the world. Um, we're going to have an internal li liquidity provisions team uh, that will reduce supply, demand imbalance. Uh, we'll create two-way markets for various contracts. And we'll be compensated on unmatched volume rather than profitability. And we're going to hire uh, a team of sales and marketers, and we'll be dedicated on, on bringing institutional clients on, on board. And our thesis is, as more and more institutions hold crypto, we'll need a, a venue to put that crypto to work. Um, and we'll provide the perfect venue for them to understand and trade the markets that they're used to. All right, can everyone see? All right, so here you can see the contracts that we launched on our markets. Uh, with the traditional CME contracts, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, Eurostocks, Nikkei futures. Uh, we can also trade commodity futures like oil or natural gas, soybean, corn. Uh, we will allow you to trade single stock futures linked to the uh, NASDAQ stock exchange and various equity exchanges. So you can trade Facebook, Apple, um, different, different single link stocks. Um, we'll also, since we're building the infrastructure, we can trade any underlying asset. So we can trade crypto futures. So if you want to trade Bitcoin or Ethereum, we can trade these futures as well. And the most, um, I, I'd like to highlight this feature is contract creation, where people can define their own parameters for different futures contracts that they would like to trade. So if, there's, if there isn't a contract for you to trade right now, you can define it yourself, define the margin requirements, initial maintenance margin requirements, how much fees you want to charge, um, good name, Dr. Baba. Still in production, guys. So, and then here's the most important thing, where you define your own oracle. And this oracle is used to settle the contract at x -ray. And we'll be sourcing uh, oracles from all over the world, and we want people to find the most reliable oracles. So if you're able to source Bloomberg or Goldman Sachs as your oracle, more and more traders will trade your contract over someone else who doesn't have this, this uh, reputable oracle. So, uh, so, Um, so next I want to show you the portfolio uh, portfolio page. Okay. 
So this just has the um, various uh, contracts that are in your portfolio right now. Um, we're going to be trading S&P 500 e-mini contract, and I'm going to show you the steps and how quickly and easy it is to post viral. So right now you can see we have about 19, about 2,000 tokens um, that we've already posted. But if you want to post more, you can post. It's a little slow. So we're using MetaMask to interface with your private wallet. Um, you just confirm your transaction. So this is an actual transaction that's I think I hit twice. So this is being mine right now. It's, we're running on RingB testnet. Um, this should take, uh, well, testnet's a little slow, but on the mainnet it should take about 15 seconds to post your quad over. So this is from our private wallet to the smart contract that represents the S&P 500 contract. Okay, so we posted a thousand uh, EVR tokens. Um, and you can see we have about three contracts that we're long right now, which means uh, we're required to deposit 500 or 1,000 EVR that's locked in. And that, that, to that collateral cannot be released until you exit the trade. So if we want to go buy one more contract, let's say we want to go to three uh, contracts. So we're going to go on a computer in America because uh, there's some technical difficulties. Okay, so do you still see this? So here we have another um, sell order, and this is what the market would look like if you had an uh, active order. So we're going to submit our order. We want to buy one other, uh, one extra contract of this S&P 500. After we cross this order, we're going to go from two to three contracts, have another 500 tokens locked up, um, and we'll cross right now. So what this does, it's a call to the smart contract that crosses different traders. So all the orders, all the buys and sells will be uh, sorted, and then we cross them um, on one price. Everyone pays one price at each auction. And this is how we can uh, adjust for the, I guess, the 15 second block times. Because with one call, we can cross thousands of traders. All right, so here we go. Um, you can see now we're long one master contract. Here. Three contracts that were long. We've had uh, 500 EBR that's taken from our um, pool of available funds to trade to uh, be locked up on the smart contract. And that's peer-to-peer um, -peer trading without a centralized clearinghouse. Everything's done on chain. And in our beta release, we'll allow for decentralized lending. And now you can lend out your excess tokens to different traders and earn a fee. Um, and you can do this all, all in a decentralized manner.
right? I think I'm done. Is there any questions? We have two minutes for questions. All right, I guess that I'm that good. All right, so uh, if, if there are any questions, I'll be in the back and you can ask me privately. All right, thank you.